at www.spreaker.com. Create your own radio show and find thousands of exclusive radio channels. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is November 5th. Happy Saturday. And it's about 8.32 a.m. in the morning. And this is uh, Kathy Brocks with Let Us Thank God Podcast. And um, we just want to open up with a quick prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, that the word may be received, Father God, and that that, um, all that hear your word may um, receive revelation. And those that don't understand what they're hearing, that they may seek you for understanding. Amen. Okay, so today we're going to read chapters of Matthew uh, chapter 3 and chapter 4. And um, if you want to contact me, you want to uh, send an email to lutgpodcast at gmail.com. That's lutgpodcast at gmail.com. You can also write me at P.O. Box 353, Elgin, Illinois, 60121. That's um, 353, P.O. Box 353, Elgin, Illinois, 601. Two one. This is uh, Kathy Brox with Let Us Thank God podcast, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the uh, word today. So we're gonna read from the New King James Version of the Bible, uh, starting off with chapter three of the book of Matthew, and that's seventeen verses, and then chapter four of the book of Matthew, which is a total of twenty five verses. Matthew chapter three, verse one. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the regions around Jordan went out to him, and all were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the wrath to come therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance and do not think to say to yourselves we have Abraham as our father for I say unto you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones and even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees Therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him and John tried to prevent him saying I need to be baptized by you and are you coming to me But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit me to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and alighting upon him and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying this 
is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. End of chapter 3 for Matthew. We're going to read that again. So again, chapter 3, Matthew, New King James Version. Let this soak in. Get your Bible. Read along with me. I'm reading out of New King James Version. Matthew chapter 3. Here we go, verse 1 again. In those days John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and honey, and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around Jordan went out to him, and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But then he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to, be, coming to his baptism. He said to them, Brood of vipers! Who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance. And do not say, do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you, that God is able to raise up your children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which does not bear fruit, bear good fruit, is cut down and thrown into the fire. Indeed, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came to, ja uh, to Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. Are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all the righteousness. Fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. End of chapter 3. Alright, so we're going to um, go into chapter 4 of Matthew, verses 1 through 25, and then afterwards we'll break for a commercial break. So we're going to start with chapter one, uh, chapter 1 of uh, Matthew, I'm sorry, we're going to start with verse 1 of uh, chapter 4 of Matthew. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be baptized by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights afterward, he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up 
into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the, temp of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Jesus said to him, It is written, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdom of the world, and their glory and said unto him all these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me then Jesus said to him away with you Satan for it is written you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Now when Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he departed to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Then the, the people who sat in, in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light was, has dawned. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent! For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, Follow me, I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him, going on from there he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee their father. Mending their nets, he called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then. His fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes followed him from Galilee, and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. End of chapter 4. Alright, so we're going to read it again. Matthew chapter 4, 1 through 25. You can take a little squig of water. Just to coach your voice. Because I want you to read out loud. Amen. Follow along and read out loud. Let's start. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights afterwards, he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. But he answered and said to him, and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall, not, he shall give his angels charge over you, 
and in their hands they shall bear you up lest your foot lest you lest you dash your foot against the stone Jesus said to him it is written you shall not tempt the Lord your God again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory and he said to him all these things will I give to you if you fall down and worship me then Jesus said to him away with you Satan for it is written you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve then the devil left him and behold angels came and ministered to him now when Jesus heard that John had been put into prison he departed to Galilee and leaving Nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum which is by the sea the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan Galilee of the Gentiles the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light and upon those who sat in the region and the shadow of death light has dawned for that time Jesus began to preach from that time Jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brothers Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen then Jesus said to them follow me I will make you fishers of men they immediately left their nets and followed him going from there going on from there he saw two other brothers James the son of De the son of Zebedee and John his brother in the boat was Zebedee his father mending their nets he called them and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him and John went about all Galilee I'm sorry and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues preaching the gospel of the kingdom healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people then his fame went through all Syria and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments and those who were demon possessed epileptics and paralytics and he healed them great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis Jerusalem Judea and beyond the Jordan end of chapter 4 okay we are going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back God bless you go get some water and I'll see you in about uh, two minutes that sound more like everyone else than anyone else hey all right it's Kip Casper the website which turns anyone into a radio DJ. Log on to Spreaker.com for listening to thousands of radio channels and start creating your own radio today. That sound more like everyone else than anyone else. the website which turns anyone into a radio DJ. Log on to Spreaker.com for listening to thousands of radio channels and start creating your own radio today. That sound more like everyone else than anyone else. website which turns anyone into a radio DJ. Log on to Spreaker.com for listening to thousands of radio channels and start creating your own radio today.
that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Hey, all right, it's Kip Casper. Spreaker is the website which turns anyone into a radio DJ. Log on to Spreaker.com for listening to thousands of radio channels and start creating your own radio today. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, this is Kathy Brox with uh, Let Us Thank God podcast. We're reading the uh, book of Matthew, chapters 3 and 4. And we read through both chapters um, a couple of times, twice actually. What I want you to do now, as always, I want you to read it over again because I'm going to read through both of them once. And then underline the things you don't understand and circle the vocabulary words. Look up the words in the dictionary. And um, look up the uh, subject things that you don't understand in the concordance. It's usually in the front or the back of the Bible. And if you don't have one, you can go get one from the local library. Or, and, um, or you can go to your local uh, church bookstore. And also, uh, get your pastor involved or your church leader and ask him, Hey, I'm reading Matthew chapter 3 and 4 and I don't understand this, this, and that. What does that mean? Help me to understand. And definitely pray and ask God. Ask the Holy Ghost to open up the Word to you, to reveal the hidden things to you, so that you can understand. So, seek God's wisdom. Alright, here we go. Matthew chapter 3 and 4, straight through. Chapter 1. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and food, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around Jordan went out to him, and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism. He said to them, Brood of vipers, who wanted you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance. And do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you, that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him, and John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you are coming to me. And Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Chapter 4 then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights afterwards, he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. And he answered and said to him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city and set and set him uh, set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, "If you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, 
he shall give his angels charge over you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against the stone Jesus said to him it is written you should not tempt the Lord your God again the devil took him up an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory and he said to him all these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me then Jesus said to him away with you Satan for it is written you shall worship your Lord you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve then the devil left him and behold angels came and ministered to him now Jesus saw that now Jesus heard that John had been uh, put in prison he departed to Galilee and leaving Nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum which is by the sea in the regions of Zebulon and Naphtali then it is uh, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan Galilee of the Gentiles the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light and a and upon those who sat in the region and the shadow of death light has dawned for that time Jesus began to preach and say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen and then Jesus said to them follow me I will make you fishers of men they immediately left their nets and followed him going on from there he saw two other brothers James the son of Zebedee and John his brother in the boat was Zebedee their father many their nets he called them and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people then his flame went throughout all Syria. I'm sorry. Then his fame went throughout all Syria. They brought to him all sickness, all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, those who were demon possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. End of chapter four. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. We have about uh, two minutes left. And I just want to say, remember to pray every day. Um, even if you're lying in your bed, those of you, hope, hopefully you're not bedridden, but if you are, pray every day. You can pray in your bed. You don't necessarily have to get on the floor. You can pray right where you are. Pray where you're standing. Pray where you're sitting. God said that you no longer will you have to go before the wall to pray, but you can pray wherever you are because he's omnipresent. When Jesus came and bore all of our sins on the cross, he took away the law, and now grace is here. And through grace, you can pray wherever you are, and you can ask God for whatever you need. So if you have a need, you have a want, no matter how small or how large, take it to the Father and just say, Jesus, I need you. Lord, help me. If you're feeling tempted, say, Lord, take this temptation from me. Because remember, he said, no temptation is so great that you can't withstand it. And he also says to lean not into your own understanding, but to trust fully upon the Lord. Because His, your thoughts are not his thoughts. He's greater than us. And he's there for us, for everything that we may need. So read your Bible every day. Pray every day. Even if it's 15 minutes at a time, give him your time. And don't be ashamed to talk about him, to tell people about him. Don't be ashamed to receive him as your Lord and Savior if you haven't. You can go to my webpage, kathybrox.com, click on the Buy Now, and then on that page you'll see the um, opportunity to give yourself to Christ, to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So again, this is Kathy Brox with Let Us Thank God podcast, saying thank you and we will uh, speak again. And until next time, God bless you. And um, just call upon the Lord and praise and worship Him and sing to Him every opportunity you get. And ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Amen. That sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Hey, all right, it's
Radio Channels and start creating your own radio today.